Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I want to show you how to change the autosave time frame for your WordPress pages and posts. I'm sure you may have noticed if you've spent any time at all in the WordPress editor that it autosaves your pages and posts, and it does that after a certain number of seconds that the post hasn't been saved. So every time you click the Save Draft button, it then waits 60 seconds, and if you've made a change in those 60 seconds, it then autosaves that after 60 seconds, and that's the default time frame. And the reason this feature is there, and it's actually pretty awesome, is the internet can sometimes be a very fickle thing. So you can, you can write out a whole blog post, and if there's no autosave feature, and you click on Save Draft, but for some reason your internet connection is wonky, you're probably going to lose that entire thing that you wrote. So that, that's, a, that's a pain. It's happened to me many times in the past, and I don't like it at all. So the autosave can be a lifesaver, and when the autosave isn't working, so if, if you're typing, and it's been 60 seconds, and the WordPress tries to autosave it, but it can't, if there's some kind of internet connection problem, it will actually have a message at the top of the page or a post saying that something's wrong, we're trying to reconnect, and we will, so we will save autosave your draft when we reconnect. And at that point, what I usually do is I copy and paste all my content from my editor, from the WordPress editor, and put it into a text file, just in case it doesn't reconnect by the time I need to save it, because I don't want to lose all the work I did. So that's neither here nor there. What we're going to do is change that autosave time frame. So maybe you want to save in much shorter time intervals. Maybe you want to save your updates every, autosave them every 10 seconds. Or maybe you want to have a longer time frame. Maybe you want to autosave them every three minutes. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we're in our HostGator hosting account. You have to go into whatever hosting account your website is in. And we're going to open the file manager. And you can also do this via FTP if you're more comfortable in there. We're going to open the document root for our website and then click on go. And this will show all the files in the document root. And we want to choose the wp-config.php file. Then click on the edit button. And we're going to put this code at the very bottom just above where it says, that's all, stop editing, happy blogging. So above there, we're going to paste in this piece of code, which you can find below this video to make your life a lot easier. And what this code says is the autosave interval, define that as this number of seconds. So as I said earlier, 60 is actually the default. So we don't want to have 60 there because there's no point because it's already set to 60 by default. So here you want to change whatever number of seconds that you want the autosave to happen. So maybe you want every 10 seconds. Or maybe you want every 3 minutes, in which case you have to put in 180 seconds. You can't type in 3 minutes. It has to be the seconds value. And after the code, the code ends with a semicolon. And then you have these two forward slashes and the word seconds. This is called a PHP comment. You see them all throughout. This is a PHP comment. This is a PHP comment. Anything that's well coded in any programming language will have comments that explain what it is that that code does. So this is a comment that reminds you that this number that you input here needs to be in seconds. If you put in three thinking it's three minutes, it's actually going to be three seconds. So after you've set that to the number you want, just click on save on the top right. Go back to your website. I like to refresh the, the public facing website, I like to go into the min area to make sure that's still working. Because whenever you work in the WP config file or something like the HD access file, one wrong period and one wrong quotation mark can break everything. So I just go back and check and make sure everything's running. And now when you edit your post pages, you will see the autosave happening at whatever interval you set in the WP config file. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our social media, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.